It took me quite a while to get a grip on the fact that this was a terrible disease I had, and I thought I would die within six months. My name is Nancy McGuire. I'm 70 years old, and I was an office manager for a group of clinical psychologists, and I retired from that in 2002. I had a pain in December of 2009. The pain would not go away after a few days. I went to see my primary care physician who immediately got a CT for me that day and an MRI. And 17 days later, I had surgery, not knowing exactly what it was. When I came out of the surgery, my husband and my family already knew that I had leiomyosarcoma and my surgeon said I should see a radiologist and find a medical oncologist. It was devastating. I couldn't do anything. I came home from the hospital and all I could do was stare at the window. The radiologist told me she had seen one person approximately per year who had leiomyosarcoma. So in addition to being devastated from the knowledge of having the disease, I was also devastated that I obviously had something rare and would have to look around for a doctor who could take care of me. My daughter was with us at the time. She is a physician in Philadelphia. Found a wonderful doctor, Dr. Arthur Stadden, who is a sarcoma specialist. And we have been with Dr. Stadden for six and a half years. When I first went to him, I was stable for a little while, and then there were a few lesions that appeared in my liver. He decided to give me chemotherapy, and I had Gemzar and Taxotere, went through a few regimens of that, and then I had surgery. When they took the nodules out, they were necrotic, so the chemo had really done its job well. He followed me very closely after a number of months after the liver surgery, in fact, almost a year, I believe, some other nodules started to develop in my lungs. And the doctor put me on another chemo drug called adriamycin. And I was on that for three months, I think. And then after that, I had lung surgery for them to go in and get what had not been destroyed by the adriamycin. Went for another few months and continued with my regular three-month meetings where I had a CT, and then he would review with me how the lesions looked. Uh, apparently there were unknown or undetermined nodules in my lungs, both of them, as well as something in my liver. I did receive a number of other treatments, and I recovered from those rather nicely and easily. I seemed to be able to bounce back. Six months later, Dr. Stadden told me again about these trials, and we thought, well, this was a good time for me to be enrolled in a trial for Yandelis. By the time I got in to see him, he said that it had been approved and we could start right away. So we were very excited that I would be able to be taking this drug, and it was after it was FDA approved. After being on Yandelis for three treatments, I had a CT and the CT showed significant improvement. All the lesions, and I don't even know how many there were, all over were significantly reduced. I continued on Yandelis and then had a second CT, and a number of them were completely gone. The others were continuing to shrink. My most recent CT showed additional improvement. I feel wonderful. I feel wonderful emotionally and physically. It's, it's really good. I have learned to appreciate a lot of things in life that I never really gave enough attention to, and it's kind of like stopping to smell the roses, and you really need to do that. It gives you more of an appreciation of life, and you look at everything differently. When your mortality is threatened, you change. I don't know what the numbers of people are out there who have cancer, but I can only say that they are waiting. Their goal in life is to live long enough so that new drugs are found. Yandelis is the first drug that's ever been made for leiomyosarcoma, and I'm really grateful, and other people are grateful for their drugs that they have received. 
So the goal of a cancer patient is to stay alive long enough to get treatment. And the only way that is going to happen is with further research and monies donated.